Daily Words of God Man will be fully made complete in the age of kingdom. After the work of conquest, man will be subjected to refinement and tribulation. Those who can overcome and stand testimony during this tribulation are the ones who will ultimately be made complete. They are the overcomers. During this tribulation, man is required to accept this refinement, and this refinement is the last instance of God's work. It is the last time that man will be refined prior to the conclusion of all the work of God's management, and all those who follow God must accept this final test, must accept this last refinement. Those who are beset by tribulation are without the work of the Holy Spirit and the guidance of God. But those who have been truly conquered and truly seek after God will ultimately stand fast. They are the ones who are possessed of humanity and who truly love God. No matter what God does, these victorious ones will not be bereft of the visions and will still put the truth into practice without failing in their testimony. They are the ones who will finally emerge from the great tribulation. Even though those who fish in troubled waters can still freeload today, no one is able to escape the final tribulation, and no one can escape the final test. For those who overcome, such tribulation is the tremendous refinement. But for those who fish in troubled waters, it is the work of complete elimination. No matter how they are tried, the allegiance of those who have God in their heart remains unchanged. But for those who do not have God in their heart, once the work of God is not advantageous to their flesh, they change their view of God and even depart from God. Such are those who will not stand fast in the end, who only seek God's blessings and have no desire to expend themselves for God and dedicate themselves to Him. This kind of base people will all be expelled when God's work comes to an end and are unworthy of any sympathy. Those without humanity are incapable of truly loving God. When the environment is safe and secure, or they can get profits, they are totally obedient toward God. But once that which they desire is compromised or finally refuted, they immediately revolt. Even in the space of just one night, they may go from a smiling, kind-hearted person to an ugly-looking and ferocious killer, suddenly treating their benefactor of yesterday as their mortal enemy, without rhyme or reason. If these demons are not cast out, demons that would kill in the blink of an eye, will they not become the source of further suffering? The work of saving man is not achieved following the completion of the work of conquest. Although the work of conquest has come to an end, the work of purifying man has not. Such work will only be finished once man has been wholly purified, once those who truly submit to God have been made complete, and once those disguisers who are without God in their heart have been purged. Those who do not satisfy God in the final stage of His work will be completely eliminated, and those who are eliminated are of the devil. As they are incapable of satisfying God, they are rebellious against God. And even though these people follow God today, this does not prove that they are those who will finally remain. In the words that those who follow God to the end will receive salvation, the meaning of follow is to stand firm in the midst of tribulation. Today, many believe that following God is easy, 
But when God's work is about to end, you will know the true meaning of follow. Just because you are still able to follow God today after being conquered, this does not prove that you are one of those who will be made perfect. Those who are unable to endure the trials, who are incapable of being victorious amid tribulation will ultimately be incapable of standing fast and so will be unable to follow God to the very end. Those who truly follow God are able to withstand the test of their work, whereas those who do not truly follow God are incapable of withstanding any of God's trials. Sooner or later they will be expelled, while the overcomers will remain in the kingdom. Whether or not man truly seeks God is determined by the test of his work, that is, by God's trials, and has nothing to do with the decision by man himself. God does not reject any person at whim. All that he does is so that man may be utterly convinced. He does not do anything that is invisible to man or any work that cannot convince man. Whether man's belief is true or not is proved by the facts and cannot be decided by man. That wheat cannot be made into tares, and tares cannot be made into wheat, is without doubt. All those who truly love God will ultimately remain in the kingdom, and God will not mistreat anyone who truly loves Him. Based on their different functions and testimonies, the overcomers within the kingdom will serve as priests or followers and all those who are victorious amid tribulation will become the body of priests within the kingdom. The body of priests will be formed when the work of the gospel throughout the universe has come to an end. When that time comes, that which should be done by man will be the performance of his duty within the kingdom of God and his living together with God within the kingdom. In the body of priests there will be chief priests and priests, and the remainder will be the sons and people of God. This is all determined by their testimonies to God during tribulation. They are not titles that are given at whim. Once man's status has been established, the work of God will cease, for each is classed according to kind and returned to their original position, and this is the mark of the accomplishment of God's work. This is the final outcome of the work of God and the practice of man, and is the crystallization of the visions of God's work and the cooperation of man. In the end, Man will find repose in the kingdom of God, and God, too, will return to his dwelling place to rest. This is the final outcome of 6,000 years of cooperation between God and man. will be made complete fully complete in the kingdom age when the work of conquest is done they will be put through refinement and tribulation when the conquest is done those who
is expected to be refined It's the last instance of the work of God The last time that man's refined Before God's management work is closed All who follow must accept this test Guidance or the Spirit's Word